Okay, my students, here we use imperatives to tell someone what to do. An imperative sentence always begins with a verb. Again, an imperative form of a verb is used to say an order. For example, stop the machine. Here the verb stop is an imperative verb. Here we have four examples. The first one is go to bed. Here the imperative verb is go. So we start the imperative sentence with a verb. The second one is study your spelling. Study your spelling. Here we start the sentence by study. And we start the negative form of the imperative sentence by don't. Don't plus the verb. Don't forget my party. So here we have a friend tells his or her friend, don't forget my party. Don't be late, please. So here we have to read and complete. Jenny has a lot to do today. She can't remember what her mother told her to do. Match the chore with the imperative. Complete the conversation, then practice with. Here we have some words in the box. Clean. Take out. Make. Hang up. Sweep. So we will start the conversation by. Jenny, there is a lot to do before we go to grandma's house. What do I have to do? First... Clean your room, it's very messy. Then what? Make your bed and hang up your clothes. You have pillows and clothes all over the floor. Sorry, mom. When you finish up, please, take out the rubbish and sweep the floor. Then we can go? Yes, that says when you finish your chores, we can leave. Here we have to look at the picture and fill in the missing imperative verb from the box. So the first one, close the door. Close the door. Number two, open the window. Number three, stop running. Number four, take out your homework. Take out your homework. Number five, Read your book. Read your book. Number six. Eat your lunch. Number seven. Wash your hands. Eight. Stand up. Nine. Sit down. And the last one. Go to bed.